everyone welcome back to a new vlog i hope you're all doing really well so much has happened and i just finally kind of feel in a space where i'm gonna talk to my camera and talk to you guys about what's happened it's been a very stressful and turbulent week um and i just want to catch you all up to speed because i know i've received so many messages on my monday account i've received emails and tiktok messages about what is happening so i thought i would keep you all up to speed it's friday today and i am gonna put this video out on monday so it will be pretty up to date unless anything changes between then but i thought i would just sit down and do my makeup and chat with you and give you an update so i'm not gonna go through all my products i'm just gonna link them all down below and i'll include shade details and everything like that in case you want to try anything um but i'm literally just gonna ramble through this story basically so on saturday i had a really lovely weekend planned with jack's family we had a couple of events for jack's work and a family barbecue and just all bits and bobs like that um but unfortunately oh my mum's ringing me one sec hello hello that must have been an accident so on saturday morning about 11 o'clock i'm just gonna look down here because my mirror's here i had um i went onto my instagram i was literally about to um do an instagram post actually and i went onto the app and it came up with this message over the whole screen saying september the 17th your account has been suspended for um violating community guidelines i my whole body just like dropped but i wasn't really worried i just thought like oh it's probably an accident so i like double tapped my home screen deleted the app like from being open and went back on it and it still said the same thing and i was like what the hell so i thought do you know what i'm gonna do it again i did it again and then i actually had no access to my account it had logged me out but it had lo stayed logged into my monday um, account which is my content creation business so i still had access to that account long story short i was literally in such a panic and i tried to log into my account again i thought like okay maybe it's just something's happened and it's not working so i tried to log in again and it came up with a message saying your account has been suspended for violating community guidelines have we made a mistake and then it had a button saying tell us like click here so I clicked there, I then filled out a form. Basically it was tell us your full name, your email address, link to the account, and submit a picture of your passport. So I did that, I sent it over. This was all through the Instagram app, by the way. And I just had to sit and wait. So I went to this event with all our friends and family and stuff. Sorry, Gracie's being so naughty today. Sit down, baby. Um, and I just kind of like tried to forget about it. I obviously told my manager straight away and I also told my mum. My mum was so panicked and I wasn't really panicking about it. I just thought like, oh, it'll be fine. I'll get it back. On that screen, it said, um, once you've appealed, we can let you know in 24 hours. So I just thought, oh, fine. In 24 hours, I'll have my account back. Um, I spoke to Nadia, my manager. Everyone just said, see it as like a little digital detox. You're not going to be going on Instagram for the next 24 hours. Enjoy your weekend and then you'll have it back. So I just kind of thought that's true. Like I'm not going to worry about it. Didn't think anything of it all weekend. But it was very annoying because I kept thinking like, oh, I'll put that on my story. Or, oh, I need to post. Or, oh, I need to message them. And I couldn't go on my Instagram. So then I waited till the Sunday. Heard nothing. Had no emails. I was meant to get an email to say what had happened tried to log in again and then it said um your appeal was unsuccessful have we made a mistake click here so i filled out another form sent my passport over and got to monday and still heard absolutely nothing by this point i had already been researching it watching youtube videos about it tiktoks and i realized that it is such a common thing and it has been happening so much over the last couple of months. At this point, um, we're now on Monday. I went onto my Monday Instagram because I actually felt so annoyed at Instagram because I thought like, 
someone's reported my account like why has this happened i haven't violated any guidelines they said that i was pretending to be someone else i've had this account for like nearly nine years it's clearly me um i'm not pretending to be someone else so i just didn't understand why this was happening so i then went onto my monday instagram and i actually checked the messages and i realized that i'd had two messages in my hidden requests from these random accounts um completely random like almost brand new accounts that had been set up and i'd had these messages saying um we can get your main instagram back for a fee um doing instagram unbans dm us and i was thinking something isn't right here so i ended up spending about two hours going through these people's instagrams looking at who they were following looking at their highlight videos and just investigating myself like what was going on and i soon realized that actually these people are scammers and i think what they do is they go to someone's account that they obviously need they're going to want to pay to get it back or something like that and they report it numerous times you can actually report an account from your own instagram hundreds of times so they do that it then flags up to instagram instagram don't do any investigation they just suspend the account they don't ask you anything they don't contact you they don't tell you they literally suspend the account and that's it which i think is absolutely awful i actually can't believe that they don't do some kind of check to say like um we've had these reports is this your account can you approve it otherwise we're gonna suspend your account i think it should be that way around to give you a chance to like defend yourself i guess so anyway that was that then we got to tuesday i still hadn't heard anything also by this point i have filled out every single form you could ever imagine or find online facebook forms instagram forms i'd messaged people on instagram i'd messaged people that worked at instagram that were on linkedin that had their message requests open I actually spoke to this guy who specializes in like cyber hacking and security and he does like TED talks and stuff. I spoke to him on LinkedIn and he was like, this is happening so much. Um, he said, I'm pretty certain you will get your account back. It may just take time. So I am stressing out, worrying, like I literally just thought the worst. I thought, right, that's it. I'm never getting my account back. I'm gonna have to get a new job. I'm not gonna be able to do this anymore and build up like, four or five years of content had two and a half thousand photos on that instagram all my highlights my connection with all my followers my brand deals like everything it actually is still stressing me out now because i don't have it back um so yeah and i just spent tuesday and wednesday literally sat on the sofa crying looking at my laptop trying to find ways of getting it back and then on thursday so yesterday i just thought I can't be doing this this is not me i need to be positive i need to be proactive take my mind off it i will get it back like everyone i've spoken to has said i'm so confident you're going to get your account back because you haven't done anything wrong it's just it could take another week it could take a month and that's what's stressing me out it's like not knowing how long it's gonna take so now we're at friday and i still don't have it back i haven't heard from instagram at all haven't heard any emails nothing i've checked all my spam folders i literally check my emails like every minute and i try to log in every minute still haven't heard anything and i honestly just don't know what to do at this point i feel like i've tried so many things and i just i don't know what to do so that is the current situation i am confident that i'm gonna get my account back it's just i don't know when and yeah it's very stressful it's also quite scary because there is nothing you can do to protect yourself from getting reports like nothing actually nothing you can stop yourself from getting hacked you can have two-factor authentication which i do have um change your password regularly there's so much you can do for the security of your account in terms of being hacked but there is nothing you can do to stop people reporting your account unless you're verified that's the only way that people can't report you for pretending to be someone else because instagram have verified your account but then you can only get verified if you have a significant amount of press articles and like credible mentions of your name in the press or tabloids or whatever 
which I'm not really gonna have. So yeah, that is currently the situation. That is why you can't search my name on Instagram. That is why no one has been able to message me on there or find me and oh my God, I am just so stressed out about it. I don't know what to do. So that's that. Moving on to a better topic. Today is a Friday and I have spent the entire morning deep cleaning the apartment. It is spotless. I've also just cleaned the sofa, so it's a little bit wet, which is why I'm sat on the floor. So today is a very exciting day. My mum has been staying with us for the past two months. Can't believe it's been two months. It's flown by. How we're in September, I do not know. Um, but today she is finally moving into her new house, and I'm so excited for her. It's been very bittersweet this week because she's been prepping and really excited for her new house, and I have been crying. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like Every good thing that happens in my life, a bad thing always follows. But I'm very staying positive and I'm gonna get it back. But anyway, so I've been deep cleaning the house. I've been doing about 100 wash loads. I've literally cleaned this apartment within an inch of its life. I've cleaned every skirting board, every little nook and cranny. So it's feeling absolutely lovely. And my next job is to, this dog is honestly hilarious. My next job is to go to the supermarket. I need to do a food shop for the weekend, get some dinner for tonight, tomorrow, and we're gonna make a roast on Sunday. So I need to get the bits and bobs for that. And then I'll come home and unload it all. And then I am gonna head over to my mum's house. She's got all of her suitcases and all of her bits and bobs here still because she had no room in her car. So I said to her, don't worry, I've got my car, I can drive it round. It's about 40 minutes to get to hers, so I'm gonna, take all of her stuff over and take this little one to her new house, which honestly, I know she's gonna love it so much. She's got a little garden and it's just gonna be the best thing. I'm so excited to um, go and see it. I've seen it once when we viewed it, but I haven't seen it since. So I'm excited to see it with all her stuff in and everything like that. So I'm gonna get my mum a card and like a bottle of something to take around as well. So I'm gonna take this absolute monkey out for a walk so she can stop being naughty and then I'm gonna do the food shop. Okay, I have been absolutely horrendous at vlogging today. I'm so sorry, I have just been running around in the rain for the entire day. Um, but it's now quarter past seven, I'm back from my mum's new house which she absolutely loves and she's all moved in and I took Gracie over earlier on and oh, I'm just so happy for her. I've just poured a glass of Born Rosé, which by the way is my favourite rosé at the minute. I also have a link and a discount code if you want to try it or order some for yourself, so I'll leave that in the description. Please excuse the state of me. Um, my hair is awful, I cannot wait to wash it tomorrow and the rain, you know when your hair gets wet and it's already greasy and it just looks worse? So this is my current hairstyle to look semi-nice. I've got the loungewear on that I've been wearing all afternoon. I'm in one of those phases where I feel really like not myself. I don't know if it's because I've completely switched out my routine since the whole Instagram thing um, over the last week, I don't know, but I feel very like frumpy and I need to get back on my game. So that's my plan, basically. I've got a busy week next week, and then once I'm back, October is gonna be like a reset month, I think. But glass of rosé, Jack is at the pub. He'll be back later. So I think I'm gonna have a nice bath and just have a really nice evening, to be honest. But I had a parcel today, and I've just opened the box and seen what it is, and I am so excited, so I thought I would share it with you. So, I had this email through from my manager asking if I wanted to receive gifting from this brand and I nearly fell off my chair because if you know me, you know this is literally my favourite brand ever. Diptyque have sent me products from their well-known 34 Boulevard Saint Germain collection. Taking its name from the first boutique in Paris in 1961, the collection's signature scent reflects the soul of the original boutique. We hope you enjoy using the product best wishes the diptyque team oh my god i've never been so excited to open a parcel 
and I am so annoyed that I don't have my Instagram. I'm gonna have to catch you guys up on the stories of like everything that I've been doing because I have been taking pictures of stuff and like recording things. So I feel like there's gonna be a big old load of stuff to catch up on. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is how the box is looking. I feel like I'm gonna turn this around so I can open it with you. I'm guessing this is like a little information pack. Oh my god, it smells incredible already. <gasps> what is this? Oh my god, I can't believe they've sent me this. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, I have literally got one of these in the basket to order. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I wanted one of these to put in my um, wardrobe. <gasps> Oh my god, what is this? <gasps> a diffuser! Oh my god. They have sent me an hourglass diffuser. What the hell? I literally feel like the luckiest person in the world. <gasps> oh my god. I have never owned one of these before. And... Every time I go into the store, I think, wow, they are beautiful. <gasps> it's the diffuser that looks like this. Oh my goodness me. How lucky am I? So grateful. I think I'm gonna have to get this scent in a candle if they have it. Oh my God. Look at that. You know what? This is exactly what I needed this week. <laughs> How beautiful is that? This is such a lovely Christmas gift. I'm gonna do gift guides and stuff for Christmas, but I'm definitely gonna put this on because, oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna buy this for Jack's mum for Christmas. I'm gonna do a whole video on autumn homeware that I've picked up recently, but I just wanted to share with you these cushions. They're from Dusk and they were actually in the sale. I think I got both of them for 30 pounds. It was like 15 pounds each. I bought the inside separately just from Amazon, but how nice do they look with these M&S ones? I really wanted to get some more cushions to like fill the sofa a bit more so it's more comfortable and less like boxy. And this is exactly what I was looking for. They're also a great alternative to the White Company ones, which are amazing, but 70 pounds each, and that is just crazy. Um, so I will link these below. I'm gonna do a whole video on autumn decor, which is gonna come soon. Also, my battery is flashing, so super quick, but I just wanna show you my pajamas. I did a Primark shop the other day and picked up some new cozy pajama bits and bobs. And these pajamas were one of the things Hello, I picked up. Girl. Hello. Um, I absolutely love them. They were nine pounds for the top and nine pounds for the bottom. And I got them in a size small. So yeah, my battery is flashing. So I will see you in the morning. 